Hello everybody and thank you for joining us here once again at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. My name is Brent Beardsley and I am here to tell you guys all about penguins as we are celebrating World Penguin Week here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Now many of you may have been to our aquarium before and seen our Gen 2 penguins. Gen 2 penguins are going to be found in the southern hemisphere with a large breeding colony on the Falkland Islands. Usually when people think about penguins, they think of snow and ice sheets. And while it's true that there are some penguins that live there, our Gentoo penguins are going to be living in a more rocky climate. All sorts of different penguins will use different things to make their homes depending on where in the world they live. For example, the African penguin is going to be living on sandy beaches and would be using sand to make its nest. This is very different than the emperor penguin, which is going to be keeping its eggs on its feet. While the rocks that a gentoo penguin and a Galapagos penguin may appear similar, the Galapagos penguin is going to be living on a volcanic island and will be using bits of volcanic rock, whereas the gentoo penguin will be using whatever kind of rocks they happen to see around them. Now, penguins, despite all the differences in where they live and what they build their homes with, they all have one big thing in common, and that is the ocean. Penguins all across the world are going to be getting seafood as their main type of food. Whether it's fish, shrimp, squid, krill, or whatever happens to be in the waters nearby, penguins are going to be going to the ocean for their food. We are a long way away from the places that the penguins live, but we can still help them out by eating sustainable seafood. Sustainable seafood is seafood that's harvested in a way that's not going to be harming the environment and that's not going to be taking away from the food that the penguins eat. By using something simple like the Seafood Watch Guide, we're able to see which kind of seafood is sustainable and which kind is not. And by making sustainable choices, we're able to help out ourselves as well as our friends, the penguins. We hope that you enjoy watching this and be sure to check out all of our other content and activities at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.